What up y'all, so today I'm gonna start a new series called What Celebrity Can't Beat Me in a Foot Race? Now before I get started, I'm gonna go ahead and get it out the way. I know like a black aunt. Go ahead and get your laugh out now. You laughing kinda hard, man. What's up with your boogie boy about that? I'm just playing, let's get into it. All right, first up, we got somebody I think everybody know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Now this one ain't gonna lie, I'm kinda on the fence on. I mean, built like that, baby whore body that, man, he probably can't even move like talking about it. I'm not gonna need to hold you. It look like he put quick creep in his protein shakes. Only reason I think he might be able to beat me is because his head. Don't even lie, that man hit like a hollow tip bullet. And I feel like with the size he got, if he swing that projectile forward, bro, it ain't gonna be no catching him. This man hit look like the Juggernaut helmet, bro. There's no way he ain't got no speed. Final result, I'm gonna call it a draw. Let's keep it a buck. If I won, he'd probably try to ball me up, and I just hate to have to get the Glock on that man, The Rock. Next up, we got Kevin Hart, aka Chocolate Drop. Off rip, I'm entering the race with confidence because I'm not letting a guy to wear a turtleneck beat me in a foot race. I feel like if you're his size and you wear a turtleneck, you're doing yourself a disservice because you already like compacted, you know what I'm saying? So his neck don't really exist. So then when you cover it up, you really like you got head, shoulders, knees, and toes, you know what I'm saying? Now, the first reason why I think I'm going to win is obvious, you know, the height difference. That man got to be like 4'11 on a good day. I'm six foot nice, and he don't even utilize his stride right. So I mean, automatically got the size advantage. I'm burning him up. Uh, the second reason, he got caught cheating. And I'm just saying, if you got caught cheating, you're not catching me in a foot race. That's a wrap. Final result, I think I'm going to win. But there's only one situation I think he winning. The only way he winning is if I fall start. Because, you know, Kevin Hart always doing that boom, bam, bop, bow, all of that. And I feel like I'm going to hear that and I'm going to take off with my track act, you know, with the track instincts. And then I fall start. That's an automatic dub for Chocolate Drop. All right, the last contestant of the day, DC Young Fly. I ain't going to even lie to you, DC. Yo, I like an intelligent, enthusiastic mosquito boy. I'm sorry, but I don't even think Doctor Strange could see this man winning in any scenario. DC Young Fly built like an underdeveloped baby pigeon. DC Young Fly is thick man personified. DC Young Fly built like a wishbone. DC built like a pirate peg leg. DC Young Fly like a parking meter with arms and legs. DC looked like an evolved Pez dispenser. DC looked like he chew on Newports. It's just a reminder that Kevin Hart had on a turtleneck and a quarter button on his jacket. But back to DC, I'm not letting nobody with an indistinguishable face tat beat me in a race. Final result, I'm gonna leave his ass here, boy, straight at the finish line. That boy getting burnt up off rip. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, drop a comment on who you want to see next. Watch some more of my videos and uh, turn on post notifications so you can stay up to date, man.